engineer Lucy Mugala and her colleague Esther Wairimu are fine-tuning plans to outfit a public transport bus with lithium batteries. The two work at Opibus, a privately owned four-year-old Nairobi company that converts cars and public transport vehicles to run on electricity. Mugala says converting this bus reduces the effects of greenhouse emissions responsible for global warming. A lot has been done currently in terms of mitigating uh, the effect of greenhouse gases in Kenya, but very little is being done in the electrical, in the vehicle sector. And that is a gap that we're trying to fill as Opibus. We are looking at maximizing impact by targeting the largest sector, which is the public transport sector. And with this, uh, we will be able to, step by step, be able to achieve a low carbon uh, economy in Kenya and in Africa at large. Douglas Aguata has been in the public transport industry for 15 years. On average, Aguata spends around $80 on fuel daily, a cost he'd like to see come down. However, Aguata says drivers like him may find it challenging to adapt to electric vehicles. Converting the engines from petrol to electric is quite costly, and you'll also find that there may be a scarcity of charging stations, and this may prove to be quite a challenge. Joshua Anampiu is the strategy and planning manager at the National Environment Trust Fund, or NET Fund, a state corporation that raises funds for sustainable environmental management in Kenya. Anampiu says shifting towards clean energy requires investment from the government, but argues the investment will be worth it. No matter how costly it looks right now, we know in the long run it will be more effective towards preserving our environment, which is an existential threat right now if, if we don't take care of the environment. So, uh, yes, there are areas where we need to put up infrastructure. We need to change uh, the entire mechanisms of the infrastructure. And this uh, obviously is costly. And so going forward, uh, maybe invest now, put in a bit more cash, and then we'll reap the benefits in the future. For Mugala and other clean energy champions, the challenge will be to reduce the costs of going electric and encourage consumers to go green. Lenny Rovaga for VOA News, Nairobi.